Welcome to this channel. The channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So today I like to share with you something really critical, which uh, you want to really think about it. So what happened is since I uh, <clears throat> make the podcast with uh, Sifu Mark Wiley and uh, released it, many of the old timer friends, including my Sifu in Asia, have uh, messaged me. And uh, some of my friends in, uh, in karate, in uh, other martial arts, send me this, like this YouTube. Why I finally quit Wing Chun. You know? And uh, why Wing Chun get destroyed. And they told me after they watched my podcast, Hendrik, why don't you just quit? And my teacher in Asia, older teacher, told me, Hendrik, why don't you learn from the Taoists? Just be people who no longer concern about this world. Just drop the Wing Chun. You know it's over. So, I reply to them. I say that, uh, actually, I no longer do Wing Chun. I'm just writing an epitaph for Wing Chun. Uh, because I'm a Chinese descendant, and I'm the fifth generation dialect bloodline from the Red Boat, the anti Qing 1850, the Chinese Freemasons. I have the duty, responsibility, like Horatio, tell the story of Hamlet to the world. That's why I wrote this. And my last book in Wing Chun, the, uh, the Decoding Wing Chun, has been published. So Whatever need to live in this world, it is done. It's now all this protect by copyright ISBN. So later on, people can check into it. Maybe 100 years later, 200 years later, when they need to know, they want to know what is going on, they can check on it. And this YouTube channel too. <clears throat> in fact, do I know that the entire thing is over today's Wing Chun? Of course. It is something you can analyze with, uh, with, uh, with history and uh, with uh, cause and effect. As for the 1850s Wing Chun, I just do try to do my best whatever in my memory, like uh, whatever in Horatio's uh, memory on Hamlet is all written there. So you might ask me, so why, wh why you think that Wing Chun is over? Well, I can share with you into details. That's why today I share this with you, okay? You see, everything in the world, as the Buddha said, like a human, you was born, and then uh, you grow old, and then you get sick, and you die. Wing Chun at this, at this period is already dying. It's gone. So, why do I say that? What uh, evidence I say that? Let me share with you the first thing. Today, Wing Chun have already broke into two groups, two group of people. One is the old group, one is the new group of people. So two group people. The new group were keeping attacking the old group, saying that you guys never doing sparring, you guys are lineage cult. And the old group people will say that 
you guys are not doing Wing Chun. You guys are doing BJJ plus uh, kickboxing. Why you call it that you 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 uh you stretch the horizon of uh Wing Chun. So the new group again come back saying that hey, you guys old group, you never spar, okay? You never sparring, so you don't know. Both group is taking themselves as the truth of the universe. Okay? Everybody want to be the, the, the number one, the king of the universe to have the say. Okay? However, guess what? None of these two groups know what is Wing Chun. None. Zero. If you ask them, what is Wing Chun? They will say, well, this is a philosophy. They will say that this is a Chinese boxing. Now, the new good people, the new group people will say, the people belong to the new group will say, this is Chinese boxing. Wing Chun will teach you how to do a structure and punching like a Western boxing or boxing or whatever. But you need to, the new group people say, well, but you need to learn other things like uh, the, the, the BJJ or, or whatever to, to, to fight. That is Wing Chun. So nobody cared to look into what exactly is Wing Chun. Under this condition, in Chinese, there's a term, it's called Ming Chun Shi Wang. You only left with a name, but there is no more content. It's over. Do I know about it? Sure. Otherwise, I cannot tell you this. You go check around. See, see whether it is like that. Okay? Now, how about me? You will say, well, critic me. A lot of people will say, want to uh, critic me. Some even want to challenge me to go fighting or whatever. Uh, sparring because uh, sparring is thing. You do you spar? Do uh, can you show your 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 sparring video in your in your YouTube? Blah 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 blah. Stop sparring is the uh the the, the like the king of the world. Okay, that uh you spar that means you know everything. You know. Since the first day of this channel and all my books, I never. I never say this is what Hendrix say. I always brought up this is Shi Ji Guang, this is Shaolin. I never say that is Hendrix way. Why? Well, because I am not the guy who designed Wing Chun. I am not the guy who is the best fighter in the world or in China. I am not. So in China, so who is the best in China? We know General Chi Chi Guang. Nobody surpassed him in past 450 years. And including today's MMA people. Come on. Read about what Chi Chi Guang's martial is about before, before uh, speculate. So, that's why I say I'm just a messenger. That's why I say I'm just writing an epitaph. Yes, this Chinese Kung Fu will be over soon. You got the people who everybody want to be number one, and then you have the new group, there's the old group. It's the entire thing broken apart. So it's like a corporation, you, 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 a corporate, a corporation, it is so old that everybody playing politics and there's no new product, it's dying. It's, it is bankrupt already. So you say, oh, you know, how come you, 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 you take this uh, uh, General Chi Chi Guang thing as the, the, the goal, the, the, the rule of uh, the, 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 the law? Sure. Then when we study physics, we, we use a Newton's law. When, when the Japanese, when the uh, Korean, 
using general chi chi guangs or influenced by general chi chi guang like even today the karate bubishi is influenced by general chi chi guang it's no different than the physics entire world is influenced by sir isaac newton's law of physics okay now speaking on sparring like people these days say, oh, you know, uh, you have to show your uh, sparring video in your channel, blah, 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 so that you know uh, people can see how you can fight and everything. You know what Chi Chi Guang said in, in, in his classic, which I translate here? Chi Chi Guang said, if you learn the techniques, the fighting techniques, or be more particular, specific, the momentum, changing variations of the fighting, a particular type. You need to go to test it, meaning sparring, spar with it. You need to find out whether what is working and what is not working. You always have to do that. You must do that. 460 years ago, Chi Chi Guang already said that. Okay? And he also said, but when you do this, you are testing your, uh, your, your technology. Like you go to the lab, you, you, you test whether this thing works or not. It is not about boasting yourself. I am number one fighter. I am this, uh, the king of this or that. Chi Chi Guang trained his military saying that you must test it out, but you never get into those things. Well, today you know people get this uh, number one fighter, the champion, those are entertainment. Okay? And Chi Chi Guang is military. You say king. King of uh, whatever fighting art, the best fighter. In the real world, do you think there's a best fighter, the god of fighting? The Chinese hero, Guan Gong, the Guan Gong, he is supposed to be one excellent martial artist, one of the best fighters. You know how he died? He was ambushed. Because people know him. In Chi Chi Guang's, when he fought the Japanese pirate, and within the Japanese pirate had warrior, Japanese warrior. So Japanese warrior, know the samurai sword, know jujitsu well at that time, 470 years ago. So what did Chi Chi Guang do? He, he formed his array like five man array, five man array. So when you got that best warrior, best fighter, the five men go against it. So the five man array is called pecking duck array, will take down, take out one or two Japanese warrior. So even 460 years ago, there are no such thing as Kung Fu movie, the best fighter and all this kind of thing, okay? <clears throat> That's why in the book of General Chi Chi Guang, it never talked about those. I'm the best fighter and the grandmaster. It never said. It said you're always keeping go learning. Whatever you don't know will get you. You better keep learning. You better don't be high key. That's what General Chi Chi Guang teaches army. That's why his army is very e effective and efficient. So in the history, that's what happened. Personal life, I'm 65 now. Let me tell you when I was uh, 18 years old. My uh, Kyokushin classmates, my senior brother's brother, younger brother, he was a good fighter in sparring. You know Kyokushin, right? I mean, I mean who, who back? You KO, you KO. So he was uh, this younger brother 
uh, because he's young, 17 or something, and uh, he, he is uh, looking down on this one person. This one person. And so as soon as uh, they meet and everything, and uh, that guy always get beat, get beaten up. This is Indonesia. So guess what? About a few months later, one night, Friday night, the brother went to fill his, go to the gas station to pump his motorcycle. That guy who he beat get up to so far that stabbed him from the back and he died right away in that gas station. So are you going to say that there's a, a, a warrior, there's a best fighter? Better know what is the reality in the world. Okay. So as the Chinese saying, Hao Yong Dou Hen, Bi Bai Bi Wang. Meaning, if you promote violence and uh, aggressions, you know you're going to fail and you're going to vanish. There's a reality. Masha it's good that you learn it like uh, Chi Chi Guang, his uh, military arts to protect the country, protect the people. But it's not those kind of stuff. You look at today's all those hotshot uh, uh, fighters. Don't they need a bodyguard? Why do they, they, they need bodyguard? Real life is not entertainment. So I say this now is stop to using those fighting, fighting, uh, uh, sparring, you don't spar, blah, blah, blah. The real thing is like the general Chi Chi Guang. If you do enough sparring, you just look at the person, like all the, the coach, like in Western boxing, <clears throat> in Thai boxing, in Kyokushin, in BJJ, you look at the person, you know, you can evaluate their body conditioning, you can you can you can you can uh, uh, look through his uh, strength and weakness in 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 the martial arts. It is not just sparring, sparring. And then if you say, "Well, you you uh, your Wing Chun have no sparring. My Wing Chun have sparring." Then the questions like in the the uh, the the uh, in the uh, Chi Chi Guang's teaching, what do you spar for? What do you testing? Do you know what you are testing? And it end up that many people is keeping saying sparring and then like in China, man, then China people laugh at it saying that, hey, you know, what is this? This is Kung Fu? No, this is not. This is a, 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 a striking like a Western boxing and uh, randomly the people laugh the hell out of you. Why? Because there are a lot of people out there, like in the West, uh, Western boxing coach and everything, they know your body mechanics. They can read that. Like in Japanese karate, people say, well, you know, one punch kill. Ichigeki. Everybody stand there, you know, wearing the pajama or wearing the gi and uh, make believe that they can one punch kill. But you know, what? what is the... the the key of that one punch kill, the body mechanics. Just look at whatever the YouTube and everything or video, the person you know right away, he have, he have not. I can, I can, I can, I can share with you one thing beside the body and everything. That one pun, Ichigeki, you're like what, like sprinting. Your body mechanic has a lined up. And the number one thing you look at is what you have to eat or not, is look at the shoulder. You go look at Mas Oyama when he do suki, when he do punching. Mas Oyama, you look at his body. Does it standing like that and punching? Or the body, the, the, the shoulder go, go forward? Okay? So many people don't know that that is so in-depth thing 
under the water. I keep on sparring. Why oh, everybody sparring? And everybody sparring. But what, what do you do? You look at the Western boxers who spar. They know what they are doing. They know what they are training. They, when they are coached, look at the Mike Tyson. So, that's why I follow the ancient Chinese classic. Because I'm nobody. I'm just somebody, a messenger. I'm somebody who write the epitaph that this thing exists. Okay? Now, Wing Chun, today's Wing Chun, since the Pro Ching Red Boat or Pro Ching Red Boat Opera designed it, actually is violating General Chi Chi Kuang's teaching. Yes, it is violating General Chi Chi Kuang's teaching. And that's why I said, today you have the old group, you have the new group, but both don't know that it is right in front of your eyes that it is violating the general Chi Chi Kuang's teaching and it violates the law of fighting. So what is the general Chi Chi Kuang said? General Chi Chi Kuang said, fighting is an exchange of momentum or inputs momentum with a variations of level, angle, and distance. That's fighting. In fighting, no parry, no uh, blocking. You just attack to the point. If you parry or you blocking, then you will end up really muddy. In today's word meaning, fighting is about offensive. It is not about defensive. So in Chi Chi Guang's, in, in, in this book, in today's language, I tell you what, it, what he means. He means that fighting is the focus has to be in attack. You pay attention to the attack. Not on the passive or the defensive. And fighting is an exchange of momentum with the variations of angle, level, and distance. Now you look at like in the UFC, in the Western boxing, in the Thai boxing, in the uh, Kyokushin ring. Isn't it that way? What? Chi Chi Guang 470 years ago in 1570s, 1560s already formulated out. That is the base of Ming military training if it comes if about the uh, an armed combat. And this thing later get into Shaolin Temple. Sorry, Shaolin Temple's martial art is not from Bodhi Dharma. You know, it's not. It's from Chi Ji Guang. Is Ming military. And those Ming military stuff, later when the Qing dynasty come, the anti-Qing, like the Wing Chun, 1850s, is using the Ming military technology. Now, you look at Today is when you talk about Wing Chun. Oh, Wing Chun is Tan Pong Fuk. What is Tan Pong Fuk? Is Tan Pong Fuk an attack? Or it is a blocking, a pairing? Is it, is it a, a, a passive, defensive, or offensive? You know, Tan Pong Fuk is defensive. It is passive. It is violating the Chi Chi Guang's teaching, which is the Chinese martial arts. You look like, like the Hong Sing Chai Lei Fat, who is in that uh, uprising with the Red Boat uh, uprising, 1850s. Both uh, belong to the anti Qing, the, like today's we say in America, Chinese Freemason. So, what is the Chai Lei Fat? 
uniqueness. He said what? Gua so chat. Backhand gua so chat is attacking. It is not defensive. So you ask me. So well, no, Hendrik. So what is the uh what is the uh the the uh the uniqueness of uh, the Wing Chun, eighteen fifty? Well, let me tell you, it's not Tan Bong Fu. It's Big Bo, My San, Lin Wan, Kick. What does it mean? Big Bo meaning you attack his body. You sorry, you attack his leg. When you get close, my son, meaning you pressurize his body, lean one, attack, meaning the continual attack. So uh, for those of you who want to uh, see how it is, it is in this, in this video I have made. You can, you can go check it out. Okay. That is the characteristics because Wing Chun is a short range. Short range meaning sticking body range. Okay. Meaning this. Meaning this range. Not today's the Chi Sao range. It is this range. Okay. And it has four arms. It has four arms. This is all the uh, the, the, the Shaolin riding. Okay, so uh, so that's what it is. So your Tan Bong folk is actually opposite of what General Chi Chi Guang's law of fighting and also the law of fighting today you you look at the western boxing isn't it jab cross hook the change from that trile fat is the back hand the sweep hand and the pierce the reason why wing chun is unique is because you go in The leg attack the leg, the body slam into him, uh actually uh make the his the, the opponent become defensive. You're offensive and your your hand uh, your arm and your elbow can strike him continuously. That is the bottom line. It's not today in one way you say you have a tan pong folk, and another way you say, Well, I'll change pants. Well, Chin Pan have a power too, a problem. Why? Because Wing Chun don't get, go don't go straight line. Why you don't go straight line? Because a soft art, a soft art is an art of concessions without concessions. Meaning, okay, there's no straight line here. It's a go side or side concess without concession. Meaning you strike me, I'm going to get in because fighting, as Chi Chi Kong said, it is attacking. It's no, no parry, no blocking. You just go in with an angle. That's called concess without concessions. It's not like you're standing there with the with, with, with the pants, a straight line like that. So Wing Chun at 1870, when they designed it, when they teach it, is already have a problem. It doesn't follow the general Chi Chi Guang's fighting teaching. That's why today you got a problem when you face other martial arts. Well, you look at the, the legit martial art of the world. So you look at Thai boxing. Isn't it about attack? 
your round kick, your, your push kick, your knee kick, your elbow. Isn't it like that? Kyokushin is about like that. The most is we exchange hit because the body have to be able to take it. Now, when you are just a Tan Pong folk, now you got problem. You cannot. You always lost, uh, lost your timing. You lose one step to those who attack. That's why Chi Chi Guang seven, uh, 470 years ago already tell you. So with the eight, uh, 1870s, the design like that, you know it is problem already. On the other hand, the Manchurian never trust the Chinese anyway. The Manchurian never trust the Chinese. So do you think, like today is communist China, do you think <coughs> they let you train the real deal? So the Qing, the, 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 <coughs> the Manchurian will love you to practice Qi. I will fly somebody off <coughs> with magic power. <coughs> magic fudging. You mentioned uh, uh, Chi Chi Guang, you're in trouble. So Qing is always like that, right? I mean, who, which, uh, which government want you to, uh, they know that you belong to, uh, to, to the anti, uh, to the Han race, and they are the Manchurian race, they, they, they conquer your, your country. Are they going to let you practice the real deal? So that you get the military power to against them? Of course not. So only the guy who is underground and Tai Ching, they, they practice the real deal because they practice that for military purpose. They are going to go uprising. So stop to say what? Internal art. Qi. Uh, come on, in the, in, the, in the military history of China, read that. So Wing Chun, today's Wing Chun, which is uh, derived from the 1850s, uh, 1870s, it is, it started with a problem already. So do you surprise when in 1969, almost 60 years ago, when Bruce Lee said, hey man, Wing Chun is land swimming. You surprised? Reality sometimes is cold. But reality is reality. Okay. Now let's talk about Chi Sao. What, what is Chi Sao for? What is Chi Sao? Standing together, you know, like in the movie, you know, like your Donnie Yen and everything, playing this thing. You know that is a disaster. The Chi Sao training is a disaster in the fighting. Well, again, General Chi Chi Guang tell you fighting is about momentum exchange, inputs momentum exchange. Check, check the physics book if you don't understand what I'm saying. Inputs momentum exchange. Does anybody go down there and sensing this thing? You look at like the Chang Wei Li UFC fight, or the Kyokushin fight, or the Thai boxing fight, or the Western boxing fight. Do you have time to sense? Obviously, you don't have time to, 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 to sense. There's make no sense at all. Again, General Chi Chi Guang's rule in fighting saying what? No parrying, no blocking, meaning you don't even want to touch his hand. You want to slip in and, and, and take him out. Why do you want to sense him? Sense what? This is momentum. In Chinese, 
we know that this is the first gate. It's called Samguan. First gate, second gate, third gate. At the first gate, disregard how you sense because this is uh, can change a lot. Both parties can get hit. In the second gate, the elbow gate, if, you, if you're sensing that, you still can get hit because you sense here that still room can play. Only at the third gate, you jam him. Only at the th third gate, you jam him. That is where you can play his body. So, so what is sensing mean? Sensing mean is this just like in a today's term, <clears throat> like you got a <clears throat> jujitsu guy under the ground, or uh, when two wrestlers try to uh, uh, rest each other, then their body have to sense the opponent's body to make change. That is called sensing. She. It is writing clearly here. This is Chinese words. Okay. Tightly. Okay. Tightly stick to opponent's leg here. Say, if I'm not wrong. Okay. So he's need saying that he's going to tightly. Sticking sensings over here and are uh, playing with the opponent's center of gravity, and you take out his center line. That is sensing. It's not this thing. That's why I told you three gate. You 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 sense here. You sense here. He can slip away. You need to be get into here like. I just share with you. Another thing on this type of a chi cell training, whoever bigger who win. Like you 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 sense with uh you are uh, you try to fight in the in the chi cell with a Mike Tyson who is much taller than you and uh, have a longer arm and have more power. Come on. So you, you can say, oh yeah, you know, uh, there are internal chi. Internal chi. So this is Navin. He's 100 pounds bigger than me. When he visited me. So this, we make a, a video on talk, try to explain this thing. You have to use physics. I have to get to this close to par him. Okay. If this is uh, arm by arm, no way I can I can move him. So I trick him or I cheat him. Hey, now we're sorry. I get into this distance. Only that way I can handle him. Okay, so don't ask me about this sparring, not sparring. You need to know how to use your strength first. You need to know how to choose your distance. You want to talk about force flow, momentum. Even I have that. It is a tough stuff. Okay? It's no guarantee. So stop to believe in all this chi, you know, energy. You know, come on, come on. That, that's why I say, when you go watch a Chang Wei Li UFC, do you have time for those things? So if the, the, the person is bigger. Now, if the person is the same size with you, but he's more stronger. Well, this is a classical case. This is a classical case. Ding Hao and, uh, and Xi Xiaotong. Xi Xiaotong is much better trained in the body conditioning than Ding Hao. Look at what happened. Look at what happened. So, to be fair, you think Ting Hao doesn't do the Qi Sao? You look at 
uh, Ting Hao's video where he fought other people. He do a lot of chi song, right? But when he met somebody who is a bigger body, bigger, uh, uh, have a better condition, bigger body, make bigger uh, muscle endurance, you cannot touch him. So that's how good your chi song is for. I'm not bad mouthing it. I just tell you that this this kind of thing, you get into it, you don't even know why you lose. Now, in today's world, if you go to China, have friends in China, in MMA, in uh, in uh, in in Sanda, they will always tell you that sticky hand of Wing Chun is a bad deal. Why? Because when one gets used to that. Is standing in the fixed distance. Okay? Fixed distance and have a small variation. You get fixed distance and then you maybe move one step and then doing the punch and so forth. You go to China, they know. They say, okay, this, this is the, the bad deal in Wing Chun. It doesn't work because people know. Fighting, as Chi Chi Guang said, is what is a is a momentum exchange based on angle, distance, and level. You're standing there to do that, and even if you see some people who do cheese or even like this, I listen. What are you listening? People are pulling momentum at you. This is reality. That's why Chi Sao is no longer the Chi Sao as what in the 1850s in the general Chi Chi Guang in the Shaolin time. It is no longer that. If you're using that, like this now I say about the today you have this young uh, the, the new group and the new uh, the old group people both still doing that. And even the new group people, you say, well, you know, I'm using Chi Sao in MMA in I mean what the heck is that? Go try to fight Zhang Wei Li. See whether you can cheat him or not. Or her or not. Look at the reality. Go join a Kyokushin Open. See that you have chance to cheat or not. When all the flying kick go around, the, 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 the body shot go around. So, sure. I'm here when I say this. It's like I, I, I make enemy to the entire world. Like my Sifu told me, hey, Hendrik, why don't you be a, a cane? You know, in Chinese, the, the, the crane, the, the bird crane, meaning the crane is the one who ignore the world, flying away. So my Sifu said last night, why don't you be a crane? You know, drop all of this thing. You know, make yourself happy. I say I'm happy now because I, I have a, I have do my respond uh, my responsibility because everybody have a responsibility and I'm lucky that I be able to complete it. But if if this is not open up, what are you going to do? The entire thing will crush because you don't even know what you get into. Okay. So Chisa, this problem. The next thing, one size fit all. This is extremely, this is, this is crazy. Past week, everybody passed around a TikTok video on a karate friend fighting a Wing Chun guy. Wing Chun guy, smaller guy. The karate guy is big guy. So they put the hand like that together and then they go for it. Of course, the, the smaller guy is gone. Why? I make a video only weeks ago. How to beat a shorter guy or taller guy fighter with Wing Chun 1850. I make this video is because there are uh, 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 two billionaires want to fight. One is smaller, five foot seven, another one is like six foot two. 
So people ask me, so how did they supposed to fight? I say, well, you know, if your opponent is this tall, you do this way. If you this is too, because fighting is not uh just compete, you know, uh try to 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 uh to play chi sao, to play listening to him. Fighting is about strategy, it's about winning. So when your opponent is so so tall, bigger than you, you have to move out from the line of fire. Why? The minute your hand touch his hand, he can shoot you, he can he, he can he can punch you, he can strike you, he can kick you. Yet you are shorter than him, you cannot reach him. It's over. If you're doing like a uh, like movie, but a uh, Bruce Lee movie, Enter a Dragon. You don't want to touch his hand. Again, General Chi Chi Kuang said, no touching, no bad parry, no blocking. You want to stay out. You want to let the big guy come to you. Because what? The big guy, his body mass is bigger. When he comes to you, you have chance to go side angle in. Concessions without concession. Get close to him. That is your zone you want. If you're fighting him in the zone of his zone, touching his hand, you get punched out. So if, if you never been trained this way and keeping chi sao, you don't even know if your opponents, you know, if, if he's this guy, you got this, uh, you, you need to uh, use this strategy. That's why uh, in the it, at, at that video, I show this thing. I show, I, 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 I show this thing. This thing. This is the one of the 32 momentum combination, the combo of Chi Chi Guang. This is how teach you how if you fought a, a, a taller guy or a shorter guy, how to do it. If you don't have that, you're keeping Chi Sao, you're thinking you can listen, forget about it. This is momentum come from different angle, different level, different distance. So is that Wing Chun? So somebody wrote down there like in the forum, uh, karate versus Wing Chun, which is better? How can you how can you ask that questions where your Wing Chun one size fit all? Okay. So it is a problem. <coughs> And also, you need to know the distance, the, the, the different size. You have to have the different momentum combinations versus it. And you have to have the body conditioning. Not, not those, oh, Wing Chun is teaching you how to punch, how to, how to box like a Western boxing. You know what? You better actually listen to Xi Xiaotong. This is Xi Xiaotong. This is Xi Xiaotong make fun of Wing Chun. But he's serious. Of course, he analyzed Ting Hao before the fight. That's why after he make fun, he said this is the truth. Okay? Wing Chun need to look at that and say, am I doing that? Do I understand what is going on? Instead of saying that, well, Wing Chun is this, this structure. Go watch, watch, uh, watch this, uh, this video from Xi Xiaodong. Okay, the video he talked about, Wing Chun is a girly art and so forth. Okay. This video. So at the end, he said, this is the truth. Of course, he analyzes you when he wants to fight. Everybody wants to fight, they analyze you. 
Okay, this, those are all real pro, not a fake pro, okay? Now, like the other day, I saw people mimicking this kind of thing and put it in the YouTube and, and say that this is uh, his sparring Wing Chun uh, using Bong Sao. I mean, come on. You look at this kind of thing. Number one, your entire rib is open like crazy. You want to fight. Like in my time in South Asia, 1970s, 1980s, with the, our Thai boxer friends, Kyokushin friends, you're looking to get KO to, 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 to take away your ribs if you're doing this kind of stuff. So, Bruce Lee has passed 50 years now, 73 until now. For past 60 years, nothing changed but getting worse. That is an indication, like the Chinese say, Ning Su. This is your faith, the faith of Wing Chun. It become money making commercial stuff. And uh, since Bruce Lee passed away, you have only more lineage story, more king of Wing Chun, more qi, more internal more everything and then people will say well you know we want to fight like that uh, like an mma wing chun is just like an you know like a western boxing kickboxing everything you know it's over and by putting all this in paper and this channel and share with you today i release my duty i already tell you the truth whether you hate me or whatever, I have already. See, the Chinese have this belief. When we die, we're going to see our ancestor. Then, that is the responsibility of what do you do. For me, after this video, I have already do whatever I can do. When I die, I meet the ancestor as the ancestor. This is what I have done. I cannot change the world. I'm just me. And I'm not the king of Wing Chun or whatever, the grandmaster. I just like a, what? a high school teacher. Chapter 1, Newton's first law. Chapter 2, Newton's second law. This is momentum. This is uh, input momentum. I'm just like that. As the, the, the people who listen to it want to do anything about it or not, want to change or not, that I, I have no control and you nobody need my approval. I am just telling what has happened there. So this is what I share with you. This is not for everybody, this video. That's for sure. Because many people will not be able to take it. But this is reality. As we human, we go through bond, and then we grow up very happy. And then after 50, we start to get sick. And then 60 something, we start to think about when is our last day. The world is just like that. 